guys it's your boy here emmanuel and i'm here to give you tips on how to score 260 plus in jam joint admission matriculation board popularly known as jam is an entrance exam students take to gain admission into the university polytechnics or colleges it is one exam that determines whether or not you're going to get that course or you're even going to even gain admission into, the, into that your dream university or an institution. Now, tip number one, have a plan. Having a plan to me is divided into two, having a goal and making a schedule. Once having a goal, you must have a standard. Yes, a standard of points, jam is over 400. You must have a point that is possible, visible, and it's something you could actually push yourself to get. Now, when putting a goal, don't put something that is out of this world. It should be something you believe in because once you believe in your goal, you'll be able to achieve it. Some people have pegged points that they can they know they won't be able to achieve, but they wouldn't even push themselves to achieve it. No, that's the wrong way to have goals. You must put a point and be able to push yourself to achieve it. Without having a plan, I told you making a schedule. Yes, a schedule is very important. It's a timetable which you set for yourself. And this schedule should be set based on the kind of reading pattern or the kind of reading person you are. If some people are night owls, some people are daytime birds, some people are early bed studiers, or find your own time. If you're a morning person, your schedule should be your or your timetable of when you should reach should basically be in the morning. If you're a night person, the timetable should be basically you should basically be times at night when you could study. Now, under making a schedule, I'm going to show you a schedule I made for myself. What I wanted to achieve was to complete my past questions. So what I did was create a schedule and as you can see from the schedule, I highlighted the ones that I was able to complete. So basically, I was able to complete all, but I was too lazy to highlight all. But this, uh, this was a simple schedule I made for myself, and I made sure I was able to finish it. So, tip number two, use JAM recommended textbooks. Yes, JAM have their own recommended textbooks, as so as WAEC and NECO, but JAM have the have their own recommended textbooks and when you go for registration you'll be given this CD and in this CD you're going to have your e syllabus and e broker and recommended textbooks if you can't and you're going, to, you're going to be getting this pretty late so I would advise you to go online and search for um, jam recommended textbooks you're going to find them they are basically some of the textbooks you use regularly in the secondary schools but you're going to still find them and if they are the ones you already have, fine, no need to get get new ones. But if you don't have them, you could either go to the library to study or you get new ones. Now, tip number three, use a lot of these. Past questions are invaluable. Their importance cannot be overemphasized. You need past questions for virtually almost everything. I use my past question for passive reading, active reading, knowing the topics I still have difficulties in. What I do is I solve my past questions and the ones I fail are the topics that I go back to my textbooks to study. That is the best method of studying. So that you don't, wouldn't waste your time studying things you already know. Instead, you'll be studying things you don't know or those that you are still struggling with. Now, your past questions are booklets like this. There are also online ones. I don't know for the online ones, but I recommend booklets like this. The um, paper written ones. But if you could get the online ones, it's still good. So now what I do is I use my pencil when I'm not even in the mood to study. I just use my pencil to mark, to solve some of them. And the ones are, after which they have answers, after which I mark and grade myself, the ones I feel are the ones I pay more attention to. Those are the ones I go back to the textbooks to study. Now, tip number four. 
practice CBT. Yes, there are lots of CBT applications out there. I'm going to show you one I used, which was really helpful. It is made by the survival group of companies. Like Jam is a computer based test, which is time based. Now, since Jam is a computer based test, I was able to discover this Sawai app and I continued to practice with it. It's, the Sawai app is just like Jam. You select your four subjects, it's a paid for app. You select your four subjects and it logs you into the exam just as how Jam is. You do the exam and at the end you get your point just as how Jam is before you do the four and at the end you get your results after getting your results. But the nice thing about this app is that you could actually go back and go through the ones you have failed. So this is an example of the app. These are some of the subjects that are on the app. And basically it also have a history part where you can see all your scores and all your grades and everything and you can actually go back after taking an exam to see the ones you have failed. So practice as much CBT as you can. And one important point is to read the recommended text. That is read the recommended literature text. During my time this year, I wrote the recommended text by Jam or Sweet 16. Jam gives literature textbooks, which are and which are important parts of the English section. So once they give you this literature text, they expect you to read them because they are, you're going to be asked questions based on them. So now, summaries are good, but I only advise you reading summaries maybe before you read the text or after you read the text, not only reading summaries alone, but I advise you to read literature texts. They are very important. Now, this literature text, sometimes Jam sets context questions where they'll ask from whom was it said and to whom, and all this context-based questions. So what I do, I highlight some of the sayings, some things I find really important. I just highlight them. Now, that is why it is really important whether you like literature text or not, you read it for the exam. They are very important. So once you read the literature text, wherever, I read this literature text when I got it on the day of the exam and there was no question that came out from this text I wasn't able to answer. Now, tip important tip I would like to add is to use as much resources as you can to make sure it does not overwhelm you. It can get overwhelming. Jam alone is overwhelming. I remember sitting really helpful to me was me telling myself I just had to start. The only way to start is just to start. That is just it. So, me discovering all these tips, I decided to share it with the aspiring jam by so that they won't have to like the way I had my own difficulties. So read as much resources as you can. There are lots of resources online. But I would like to also recommend another one. This is um, a tutoring app. A like it's a private tutor. It's called Testmaster. You also have, yes, Testmaster. Now, this Testmaster app is like a private tutor. And what they do, they have all the jam topics on the app. So what you just do is click on a topic and a tutor is going to explain it to you. Like they have videos, self experience like videos of tutors teaching. But the funny thing is, and the best thing about this app is they will first give you a question and if you are unable to solve it, after solving the question and you log in your answer, there will be a part for the video explanation of that. So you wouldn't only have to read about it, you're going to watch videos about it. And some of us, we love graphics. I love graphics, I love images, I love videos. So this is one of the best apps for the graphics lovers out there. They have tutorial classes, like special classes. It's, but it's a paid for app though. I paid a um, uh, tangible amount. I can't remember the price, but I remember I really enjoyed the app because it was really helpful. Because sometimes when I'm unable to go to school, like when I'm not with my teachers, or I can't contact my teachers, what I just do is I take my I take out my phone and I just watch the topic I'm having difficulty with. Another um, application that is really helpful is Khan Academy. Yes, Khan Academy is one popular 
application out there you can get topics you can get videos on topics that is basically like the same concept with test master so that test master was strictly for jam i bought the biological science package yeah, biological science physical science and um arts and commercial i bought the biological science package but kian is like the general so it was really really helpful now another tip i would like to recommend is join science forums some of us we are basically on our phones 247 so why don't you use the opportunity to join a, um, a, a study forum or educational forum that's what i mean so now i was into, on the jtsf science forum that was the forum i joined i discovered it on facebook and i joined them on whatsapp so and it was really helpful shout out to bro ike he really taught us lots of stuff the motivational stuff he gave us apart from the past questions that we have to solve like almost every night he also posted some motivational content from great people that did great things and students that were able to break jam records and students that have taught that have gotten high marks and it was really inspiring and the questions and on those sites where if you have any difficulty you post questions there there's always somebody to solve it and answer it for you it was really helpful really really helpful based on the topics i didn't understand because i knew that there was someone out there and really understood those topics so now join um, educational forums but if those forums are not helping you in any way flee from them baby flee from them now so these are some of the tips i have for you schedule plan study smart and be able to achieve that high school you want please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the like button and if you want me to do another video where i'm going to discuss um all the resources and textbooks that i use please comment down below and i'll be sure to make 